We now return to Frank Ruin's movie trailers, already in progress. I'm drunk and need to take it down. Can we please just finish the session? It's been 16 bloody hours already, Frank. I will not record another word until I get more voiceover fluid. You need to sober up. Thank you, Terry. Uh, red leather, yellow leather, pa pa pa, ga 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 ga. Sounds better already. Iron Man 3 trailer voiceover, take 614. This winter. This April. This Christmas, Iron Man will travel to the North Pole to battle Santa, and then decide to take a nap instead. Got a lot of apologies to make. Yes, Iron Man 2 did suck. Apology accepted. It was an excellent film. Stop calling everything a film. This Hanukkah, Robert Downey Jr. would deliver all his dialogue like it's a joke. I can't sleep. And when I do, I have nightmares. Slow down your delivery, mate. Is he on coke again? I think he's on coke again. Honestly, there's a hundred people who want to kill me. Like the guy from Memento. Don't worry, he'll forget about it in two seconds. I hope I can protect the one thing I can't live without. My 90s goatee. And my iron suits. Boy, if anything ever happened to my iron suits, I would be absolutely devastated. Oh no! Me iron suits! Why didn't I lock the door? <laughs> Gwyneth Paltrow will be made to go on a roller coaster ride against her will. Ladies! Children! The villain will sound like a cross between Randy Macho Man Savage, oh yeah, and Tom Brokaw. Some people call me a terrorist. I consider myself a teacher. Who is this villain? That is Sir Ben Kingsley playing the classic villain, the Mandarin. I've never heard of the Mandarin. Is he like the annoying orange's brother? He's only Iron Man's most dangerous nemesis. I must have missed that article about him in Virgin Gamer magazine. You know, I'll have you know that nerd culture is very mainstream now. The joke's on you, Frank. <laughs> okay, don't get your underoos in a bunch. I don't wear underoos. They're official Marvel brand field shorts. I'll stand corrected then. Terry, more yum yum punch. <laughs> Haven't you had enough? Hey. You'll tell me when I've had enough. Lesson number one. Heroes. There is no such thing. The Easter Bunny. Also bullshit. Hey, is it me or is Robert Downey Jr. just a stretched out Peter Dinklage? It's just you. Peter Dinklage. Good bloke. Doesn't look down on me like some people. You're 12 inches tall, Frank. I know you are, but what am I? What? This Easter, Tony Stark will finally realize that he needs to build a secret layer. Hello! How many CGI explosions will it take for you to get serious about home security? Hey Frank, what if, just for a laugh, you actually said a line from your script? How about this? <laughs> well, the door gets stuck, so now you have to smell your own fart. Who said I farted? No! No, it, it was a fart. <sighs> Watch, as screenwriters make up half ass reasons why no Avengers can come to Tony's aid. Hulk will be busy smashing overseas. Thor will be an ass tard. Black Widow and Jeremy No Powers will be on their honeymoon. Captain America won't know how to answer his newfangled cell phone. Watch as Don King, Don Cheadle, Ron Weasel, Don Cheadle, Vin Diesel wonders why he's not an Avenger. I mean, geez, they could have used him in New York against those flying lizards. He knows how to drive an iron suit, too. Racism. I'm gonna read for a while. Hit me, Terry. You don't need another drink. Don't need one, just want one. Hey, can I get your gay opinion on something? I'm not gay. Doesn't Tony's relationship with Pepper Potts seem weirdly platonic? Like maybe she's just his beard? She's the love of his life. They're just not overly affectionate. But at the end of Avengers, who does he drive off with? Pepper? No, he drives off with Bruce Banner like they're on the way to a picnic at Fire Island. You're so homophobic. I just calls him like I see him, girlfriend. Stan Lee will make a cameo here as a scuba diver. That bit never gets old. Yeah, it does get a bit tiring. More ten-year-olds will learn who ACDC is. Products will be placed. The explosion survival rate will remain high for good guys. Iron Man 3. The search for Santa. No. Iron Man 3. The worsening. There's no tagline. Iron Man 3 in 3D. Rated G for Gwyneth Nips. See it because you like movie popcorn and big sodas. This final image is supposed to mean something. Spoiler alert. It doesn't. And that's a wrap. To the pub, Terry. Maybe with some clever editing I can actually do something here. Thanks, Frank. For not pooping in the booth, you're welcome. You know, that pooping in the booth business was just downright immature. Let's say you and I bury the hatchet starting right now with a nice bro hug. Okay, fine. Let me tell you something, mate. You are a true prof... What are you a, doing? A true prof... No, outside! outside. Why outside. do you want me to go outside? Because of my smell for you, come with <laughs> Oh dear. It appears I've soiled the booth once again. Thank you, Terry. 
Now there's more room in our bellies for whiskey. I don't like whiskey. I prefer blood pudding and goat's milk. Oh. <laughs>